What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Star Sector where I need to turn the music back on because you need music for a video. There we go. I've got it turned off because I've been playing in my free time. This game is crazy addictive and you should just buckle down and go get it. This game is going to destroy when it arrives on, on Steam. This game is, I don't say this lightly, this game is like the RimWorld of spacefaring sandboxes. It's that good. It's just a really, really, really good game. You should definitely check it out. In the previous episode, we had fought some pirates. We had built up our fleet a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. I'll be honest with you. Not a lot. But a little. We can go back over here and see if we can get another fight, though. I would love to add some more ships to my fleet. And you know what I would love more than that? I would love to add ships to my fleet that were not initially mine. So we about to go rob somebody. Let's go and see if we can find some of these pirates over here. Any pirates around? Pirates, I know you're in the... There's no pirates? Man... Now I'm just disappointed. My heart was thirsting for space blood. And now, unfortunately, there is no opportunity for space blood. I guess I've got to walk on home sadly. Just dejected at the fact that I have not been afforded my right as a space citizen to hunt down villains and eliminate them from this quadrant. Uh, as far as things we have on board right now, we have about 30,000 credits. That's not going to be a lot to play around with. In the case of what we can do with that 30,000 credits, I would recommend buying a Lasher. The Lasher is a really solid early game frigate that has a whole lot of ballistic weapons on it. Fact of the matter is, if a Lasher closes the gap with you and gets close to you, you are in really, really, really big trouble if you don't have a phase drive. These things can kill just about anything that can be killed on the smaller scale of ships. These guys are great for hunting down kites. These guys are great for hunting down other freighters and other combat frigates. They are just a nasty little vehicle. We can afford it right now. It'll be pricey. It will definitely dig into our finances a little bit, but I do think it's a good idea. Other ships that I recommend taking, honestly, you're going to need, like, every ship in this game provides a certain service. Like, there is no ship in this game that is bad at everything. They all have a place in the universe. And so, for example, with these tankers right here, these are non-combat vehicles. You just kind of keep these in your fleet to resupply you with fuel as you go along. They carry a ton of fuel for, like, long hops. Uh, these shuttles and things over here, you can kind of load them up to be, like, suicide boats and just run at the enemy and fire, like, three or four torpedoes and then just evacuate from combat as fast as possible, hoping for a one-shot. Uh, these little shuttles right here are great for harassment and just annoying the enemy. And just really making it so that these guys are always on their flanks or always behind their shields while they're trying to fight other people, just adding cumulative damage that does add up in stripping armor. Uh, these freighters right here, these hounds are not bad. They hold a whole bunch of cargo. And then on top of that, they can have a loadout that's okay. Like, they're not going to win any contests, but, you know, they fill in a space. And so if you're looking at ships in this game, there is kind of a prevailing meta that you're going to have to kind of catch up with. That's kind of the way that it goes. This lasher right here doesn't have any D-mods on it. Uh, the D mods are the negative mods. And I think it costs a similar amount to this one over here. In fact, it looks like it's a little cheaper. Oh, it's a little more expensive. Never mind. It's like 400 bucks more expensive. But if you're spending $13,000, like, what's 400 bucks? You know what I mean? If you got the cash to spend that much, I'm going to say that we should probably take the Lasher just so we have a little bit more bite in our fleet. That'll also increase our cargo storage just in case we get any cargo missions along the way. We are going to have to hire some more crew to go in on that. Don't worry about buying black market ships. I haven't seen any problems with buying non-tax ships yet. I have had problems with buying things off the black market that are like physical materials. But when it comes to buying ships, I've never really actually faced any consequences for buying black market ships. It's never been an issue. So, I don't know. I'm not telling you to go buy a black market ship. But I am saying that I haven't had any problems buying black market ships. That's all I'm saying is I've never seen any consequences for that course of action. So we do need to fit this thing out. It's not going to have any weapons or anything on it. It's got 59 ordinance points. What I would suggest for this one is probably to go with... I'd probably go with the standard layout. The standard layout is pretty solid. Now, the light dual auto cannon is pretty nice too. I'm trying to stay away from torpedoes, I guess. Torpedoes are good. Don't get me wrong. I like torpedoes, but the AI tends to fire torpedoes at weird times, like when their shields are up, and it kind of ruins the point of having torpedoes on the boat. And so, actually, we'll go with the light mortar variant right here. That sounds good. Uh, let's go with overdriven. We'll confirm that. It's going to cost us a G to get that done. He's got an unstable injector. That's going to increase his top speed. That's good. 
Oh, it's going to reduce the ranges, though. He's got auxiliary thrust thrusters. Okay, so let me see what I can do here to make him a little bit faster. Uh, there are things in here that we can go with. The unstable injector, I think, though, is the only one we have right now. It's going to increase his speed. The problem is the reason we need that speed is because all of his weapons are short range, and this also nerfs the range of your weapons, making them even less good. So, a little worrisome, but I think we'll be all right. We should be okay. Let's go down to the bar. We'll talk to the concerned man. He's got 180 units of cargo that he needs taken 6.9 light years away. We need to go to a different system anyway, so I'm going to take that job. I don't see any reason to balk at taking that. That gives us a nice little infusion of cash. Let's take a look at our star map real fast and figure out where we need to go. We'll go to the Intel menu and we'll click on this. It needs to go to the Thule system, which is pretty far. The Thule, the Thule system is pretty beefy far away, but it'll have to do for now. Let's go ahead and kick on sustained burn. Once we get to the jump gate, hopefully Thule has a little bit of action going on. I'd love to have some more combat today. We'll order the jump to hyperspace. We'll kill the transponder and welcome to hyperspace. Hyperspace is kind of a nebulous area, literally, where it's the realm in between realms. Be careful about flying into those little lightning clouds right there. Those lightning clouds will cause problems for you. They will cause damage to your ships. That damage will cause you to spend a lot of supplies repairing it. And once you get to that point, it's going to suck for you because it's really going to kind of eat up all the profit you would have made off the jump just in supplies so we'll go ahead and jump in right here we needed to take this too where did this need to go what planet did this need to go to we're space trucking right now chat we're all out here space trucking we need to take this to the tholian raider base that's not good that's pirate area right there that's probably gonna be a problem we're gonna save our game before we head on over there because i got a bad feeling that this is not going to go the way that i feel like it's going to go i have enough experience with this game to know that we're probably not going to be able to walk up on that pirate base without some serious problems there's probably going to be a couple of escorts over there we probably going to have ourselves a couple of we going to have ourselves a couple of bully boys over on this side that think they can cause problems for us i'm gonna kill the transponder so they don't see us coming and then hopefully we can just cruise right on in and drop off our cargo. Let's kill them thrusters right there. And we're going to step on in. We dropped that off, made a little bit of money. Apparently we're still friendly with these folks. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. I'm going to buy a little bit of that right there on their black market. They've got very, very expensive stuff. What is this place producing? So this place is producing crew. Unfortunately, that's not really a super transferable... That's not a crazy transferable thing. Uh, crew, you take serious debuffs for having too much crew on your ship. And so unfortunately, like, trading crew is not going to work out crazy great. Unless you're running at a deficit, which, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, pia, 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 we're not. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of jobs here, or really, like, anything that we can take out of this place. You do want to look for trading opportunities whenever you find them. You can make some, like, serious money selling recreational drugs. Like, legitimately. How come those pirates aren't attacking me? It's weird. They're just, like, rotating around there, but they haven't done anything. Weird. Normally, they attack you on site. Maybe they knew the delivery was coming. Let's go over to this planet over here and kind of see what they've got going on. Resume, Corsa. Helmsman, unpause the game. That was my bad. I left the game paused. Helmsman, resume the game. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Please lay in the course that I have laid in for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's go to this planet over here. It's a crappy looking planet, but maybe it'll have something we can use. Let's go down to the dockside bar. Nobody there with a job. Uh, do they have anything? No, they don't have any surpluses at all. So really, maybe I should talk about that menu. So like when we go to this menu up here with the colony info, what I'm looking at is over here on the right side. Anything that they have way too much of, the little icon next to it will have a green outline around it. That means that the prices here are really, really good for that stuff. And anything that they need is going to have a red outline around it. The stuff on the left, there's a bunch of different symbols. I haven't memorized them all yet. But there is, like, another thing that you can open up. Yeah, like that right there. So, you can basically open that up right there. These drugs are coming in illegally. What are they selling them for? Out of curiosity. Oh, they will just buy them. Interesting. Oh, 172 per unit. That's pretty low. Like, normally, somewhere in the galaxy, you can get about 400 for these. And so if we could move those around, we could actually make a pretty pricey run where we could turn 30 or 40,000 credits pretty fast, presuming that we can avoid the law. Those are kind of high-priced. 
What about your domestic goods? Those are kind of high priced too. Okay, well, most of their prices seem to be too rich for my blood. Or they're kind of like skirting the market index, essentially. Well, let's go down to Kazaron. We'll see what they have. Be careful about flying too close to suns or planets. If you fly too close to any of the stars or any of the larger planets, you get caught up in the gravity well, and it'll charge you a ton of supplies. Oh, I turned off my transponder? My bad. I didn't mean to. Apparently, the Persian League noticed that I turned off my transponder. So they were just kindly noting that, like, hey, you should turn that back on, or we're going to blow you out of the sky. Uh, there's a contact here with a pather, but that quest isn't really for us right now. That's not going to be a crazy useful quest. What do they have here? Nothing. I mean, they're exporting, so their prices have got to be pretty low on some of this stuff. Uh, let's look at their machinery. So with their heavy machinery, yeah, we could take that somewhere, and we could probably get a decent price on it. It's pretty low. It's one of the lower prices in the universe. Uh, with this heavy armaments right here, we could take that to Epiphany in the Ludic Path, and we could make, like, an absurd profit off of that. Like, we wouldn't even have to worry about the... So the tariff is 30%, so it's about 120 per one that we buy. But we're going to be sneaking into the Ludic Path anyway, so we'd make a bunch of money off that. Sneaking into the Ludic Path is kind of risky, but I think we could do it. I, I think it's achievable. We'll try. I should have bought those on the black market. It would have been better. But... Our chances of getting in and out of this planet with our transponder off with that many guard patrols around, pretty limited. I doubt that we were going to get away with it. So let's go out to our sector menu. We need to go to Algabar. Yeah, there it is right there. This is a risky run. I'm just letting you know this is a really risky run. If we die while this happens, uh, it would not be outside the realm of normal. I'm just letting you know, like, if we get murdered... Oh, they're pursuing my fleet? Like hell you are. Like, hell you are, I'm going to hang out with these Persians. Yeah, how you feel about that? Hanging out with Persians, doing Persian stuff. We can jump in on this fight, too. Join the battle! Uh, yeah, we'll take command of the action. I'm not going to give them any specific orders, because I don't want to lose any of my ships, but... Hey, we can jump in on this. I probably shouldn't have. It's probably going to cost me, like, a lot of supplies. I'm going to suggest that all of you guys just escort me. Yeah, just escort me. Like, I'm your bro right now. Don't hang out with any of these larger ships. They're bad influence. They're going to teach you bad habits. If I go into combat, you also go into combat. But until I go into combat, you guys just stay back here. And don't worry about it. Looks like they're running away pretty hard. But they are surrounded, so I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Yeah, that's a big ship right there. That's a worryingly large ship. And they're all kind of hanging back and not engaging. No, don't shoot down my little drones. Those little drones are my buddies. Don't shoot those down. That drone had a family. Oh, don't run away now. Don't run away now. You know you're in trouble now. Don't run away. Don't do it. You guys shoot at what you can shoot at. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. I was gonna... I was gonna get involved in that, but I don't think there's a need to. If nothing else, we may be able to salvage some ships off of this. I'd like to go after this dude. Let me see if I can get him. I don't know if I can catch him. He's kind of fast, but we should be able to run up on him pretty hard. He doesn't have any shields, so missiles away. We'll fire missiles at him. Missiles really, really, really hurt when they have no shields. I'm going to teleport past his fire, put the shields up, fire another round of missiles. Yup, you can see that HP going down. You can see that HP going down. Oh, you just had a bad day. You just got dumped down by Splatty. Who else we got? Oh, we got this poor little bastard down here. Look at this poor little guy all by himself down in the corner in his little fighter jet just being like, Oh, God, what do I do? I'll tell you what you do. You surrender or you die. That's fine, too. You can surrender or you can die. We'll claim some victory here. We'll consider some ship recovery. Oh, we got another drone tender. Yeah, I'll take that. The more drone tenders you have in your, in your combat grouping... Hint, hit, nudge, nudge. The more of those that you have, the more loot you get from battles and from salvaging. So I'm just letting you know. There's another little guy right here. What are you? You are a Hermes class something. Oh, it's a standard shuttle? Nah, we'll just salvage it. I don't really care. I'm going to need the extra supplies anyway, so we'll just salvage his ass. Uh, the nice thing about the drone tenders is they carry a ton of loot, too, in case you were worried about that. Uh, they carry quite a bit. I don't know if we're going to make this run before we run out of supplies. We'll have to give it a try. 
We will have to give it a try. We've repaired up some of our ships. Let's get on out of here. We'll order a jump. This might be overly risky. We might be risking a lot right now. It looks like we only have to go 3.3 light years, though, so this should be a pretty quick romp. All right, we'll sneak through here. Don't you worry about that. We'll just kind of sneak through this nebula right here. Don't go in any of the light spots. The light spots hurt. They cause damage, so if you can avoid those, I highly recommend that you do so. Uh, this is our system right here. We want to turn off the transponder when we jump. Let's go to the fringe point, actually. Let's go to the fringe. I want to be safe about this. Uh, jump keeping the transponder off, please. And then go dark while we figure out our trajectory. Oh, they're looking for us. They're looking for us. Let's go to Epiphany and see if we can sneak in. Yeah, he's kind of onto us right now. He knows we're over here somewhere, but he can't quite find us. We may have to kind of juke him a little bit. He's definitely looking for us. We're going to have to wait and see how this goes. Hopefully we can sneak into Epiphany without too many problems. The Ludic Path, they're a space cult. They are very, very dangerous. Be careful with them. They are hostile to you. So, you know, just play it safe. I would suggest just go dark in their systems and don't risk anything. Just go dark in their systems. Be ready to bail out at any moment. And then what we want to do is we want to go to the black market over here and we want to sell all this. So we will sell all of you. That's 51 Gs that we just made off that transaction. If we can get out of here, we are in really, really good shape. All right? If we can manage to pull ourselves out of this predicament, we're in good shape. Uh, is there anything at the bar? There's a tattooed group of roughs. We can discover a pirate base by taking that right there. So she'll tell us where a pirate base is. And now that the job is done, we need to figure out our exit. Our exit's over there. All right, so let's go for it. Uh, we don't want to be near that guy if we can help it. But what we can do now is we should be able to thrust out. And I think we should be able to make it to the gate. Congratulations, we're an arms smuggler. That's right, we, we, we snuggled some arms. Uh, let's just get to hyperspace as fast as possible because this is really dangerous. I should not have done that on camera. Like, that was a very dangerous decision that I just made. Let's go down to this system down here and we'll see if we can grab anything from this area. These guys are getting attacked. They are pirate scouts. They are about to be smoked and reduced into roughage. They're not going to survive that. It's going to be ugly. Uh, let's jump in around this planet right here, and we'll turn on the transponder because this is a friendly universe. There are pirates around, but we should be good. We need to resupply. Uh, so let's go back up to either Tibicina, which is with the Tritachion Corporation, or we can swing on over. I want to kind of see if we can find some refuse. This system is usually... I almost always go to this system when I'm looking to salvage ships because there's usually a lot of battle happening here. Uh, we've got a concerned woman over here. She's got 260 units of cargo that need to go to Ayako Brez for 53 grand. Yeah, that's super valuable, and I'll take it. That's a really good mission for us to take at this point in the game. We do need to resupply, though, so let's not turn that down. I'm going to grab some supplies while we're here. That's basically filled up our hold. I need to buy some crew for the little drone tender that we just picked up. Is there anything else here that can be sold at a decent profit? That price seems high. We could take that back to Epiphany, man. Smuggling stuff into the Ludite Path is so profitable, but it's so risky. Like, you never know if you're going to make it or not. You're basically flipping the coin on your own life every time you go into Ludite or you go into Ludite, Ludic territory. It's just like, oh my god. Like, it's so risky. It's so risky. But you make so much money whenever you do it that sometimes you just can't help it. Like, sometimes you just have to take the chance because you need a paycheck, like, right now. All right. Let's head off for this delivery quest. That's going to be another 50 grand, at which point we should be able to expand. Oh, we got two level ups. Nice. Well, that's good to know. Uh, the thing that I like to do for level ups is I'm going to finish target analysis. I'm probably going to take that skill right there to reduce the damage taken by our shields and the amount of flux we generate. But there are two skills that I really want. There's one down here that makes it so you use a lot less fuel. And then there's one in here that makes it so you use a lot less supplies. And I would recommend you take both of those regardless of what you're doing. Just because it makes your overhead a lot lighter and a lot easier to manage. Like, much, much easier. 
That's a mercantile convoy. I got scared for a second. They looked at me in a scary way. I don't like being looked at in a scary way. Let's resume our course. I'm actually going to kind of go around this nebula. We're not in any hurry at the moment. So I think we should be good. Our fuel usage is almost nothing because our convoy is so small. And so, like, this should just be pure profit, in my opinion. Uh, we'll zigzag our way through this part of the galaxy. Can't go through there. So we'll go around this way, and then we have arrived. I don't know what planet I need to drop this off at. They said, like, Iaku something. Iaku Brez. Do we have Iaku Brez here? We have the Hypersil Inner Jump Point. We have the Bullar Gravity Well. Let's just jump in right here. We'll see what happens. Hey, there it is. We actually chose the right one. Where's my money? I'm about my money. We got 53,000 credits right there for that actually pretty easy mission. Uh, they want me to take that into Luddick territory. I just We've already tried our luck once in Luddick territory, and it's made me nervous. I'm not a coward, but I try to limit the amount of crazy risky stuff I do per episode to like one thing. Oh, these recreational drugs are so cheap. Oh man, these things are cheap. Oh my goodness. Those are like crazy cheap. Oh, those are unbearably cheap. We could basically double whatever we invest. So if we take 300 units of that out there, we'll be making 140 on each one of those. We'll make a lot of money. We'll make 40 or so K. Question is, do I need it right now? That's always my question is like, we're kind of good on finances right now for the moment. Like I was thinking about buying a new ship or something. Kind of like grabbing something. The Afflictor is really fantastic and we can afford it. Uh, the Afflictor is a pretty solid... We get another drone tender. Drone tenders are great for just harassing and annoying the enemy. You got anything on the black market that's any good? They've got an omen over here. They've got a gremlin, which isn't bad. A pirate wolf. Another lasher that we could take. Let's take the lasher. I'm a sucker for lashers. I just can't help myself. I just I like the lasher so much. I think it's such a great vehicle. Go Frontier on that one, and we'll refit that for the missiles. And then this guy right here on the last Lasher, I think we went overdriven. So this time around, we'll probably go with standard variant. So there we go. We're all nice and fitted up, ready to rock. Hopefully they don't notice my black market transaction. Is there a pirate base in this area? There is. There's a pirate base. And where there's pirate bases, there's usually refuse and destruction. Is that a pirate right there? What is that? An unidentified fleet that is now engaged in a battle? It's a pretty small fleet. Let's take this fight. We'll jump in on this one. If for nothing else than the reputation. Let's deploy everybody. Our fleet is getting larger, so we are actually going to be of tangible help here. And we've got a couple of lashers, which make me feel like we can really, really handle whatever's about to happen. With these enemies over here, that is a brawler class elite gunship. And that's a standard combat freighter. I'm going to order an elimination order over there and an elimination order over there. You guys don't go over there. Let him handle those. He's a bigger class of ship. He is not for us to deal with. I want all of you with me over here. Lasher, what are you doing? Lasher, here. I'm just going to reassign you to hang out with me because I'm going to be close combat. You're going to be close combat. We're all going to be close combat. I'm going to use all my phase jumps to get up here as fast as possible. We're going to try and whittle away at some of the smaller ships. I don't think we should mess with the bigger ships. I think that's a bad idea, and I think we're going to regret it if we do it. He may be dead by the time I get up there. Either way, we're closing the gap with whoever this is right here, so we should be able to handle this just fine. Fine, just fine. I don't know if that torpedo... Ooh! Yikes. A little early torpedo right there. Our boy's getting chewed on. That's not good. Let's go ahead and go in on these guys if we can. We're going to rotate a little bit. He's going to go in. He's going to try to whittle off their shields because that's what he does. Shields are down. Fire missiles. Done. And what I need now is to come around right there. Fire missiles again, please, if you can. Where are my missiles at? 
give me my missiles. The missiles must be on cooldown. There we go. Perfect. A little missile barrage right there, and he should be down. Perfect. I'm going to vent out, even though it's a bad idea right here. We've got two kills on that side, three kills on that side. We're looking solid. The battle is actively won. With this little dude over here, we are now going to have to decide what we want to do with him. Uh, he's an elite gunship, so he might be a problem. I don't know why this guy is keeping so much range on him. I feel like he knows something that I don't know, and that's why he's staying so far away. But let's go ahead and line up and see what we can do. If we take any losses, there's a chance we'll get salvage at the end of this anyways, and we'll be able to, like, kill the meat, save the metal. So, eh. Don't really worry too much about losing ships in this game. It's not that big of a deal. If you lose, like, a really big ship, like a cruiser, yeah, be upset about that. But if you lose, like, frigates, or you lose, like, drone carriers, or you lose, like, little boats, don't worry about it. It's no biggie. They are cheap and easily replaced, and there's nothing to panic about. It's kind of smaller than I expected it to be, in all honesty. I didn't expect it to be that little of a ship. Yeah, fire some missiles at him, give him something to think about. Take some targeting off our little dude over there. Basically come in and rescue him the best you can. Perfect. We're good. We're solid on that side. Is that everybody? Oh, we still got this little shuttle over here. All right, everybody on him. We're going to finish him off. One important thing to memorize about the Wolf Frigate, one thing that got me killed a lot when I first started playing this game, is that it deactivates your shields whenever you phase jump. And so I would jump into combat, and I'd be like, why am I dying? And then I'd pause the game, and I'd realize my shields were off. And it took me a minute to realize why my shields were deactivating. I think that is one of the big pitfalls with the Wolf Frigate that people fall into as new players. I did, especially, so... Let's look at ship recovery here. We've got ourselves another drone tender. I never turn down drone tenders because you get so much more loot when you have drone tenders. That was a pretty lucrative combat, actually. We've got surveying equipment right here that we can learn if we ever get a... We've got drugs. We've got harvested organs. Like, this is actually a pretty good haul for that mission. Let's just take this back to the planet over here and sell it. Like, I'm not going to carry it around with me. I don't see the point. Uh, we'll sell it on the open market because I'm not trying to get into trouble with the tax man. We'll learn that because that's a crafting blueprint. And those are kind of rare and they don't come up very often. So I do recommend that whenever you get a, cla a crafting blueprint, I know they're worth a lot of money and it's going to be tempting for you. I'll hold on to the drugs until we find a better system to sell them in. Because those are this is a bad market to sell the drugs in. We're actively like losing money if we do that. We can, however, go up to the, the pirate base and we can see if we can sell them there. They've got a demand for 600 drugs. And their price is four times what it's selling. Well, three times what it's selling for here. So it's not that big of a deal in my opinion. And we have the, we have the capital to do it. Let me say before I do this though, because we may be embargoed. Uh, sometimes you get embargoed and they won't let you inside the port and so we don't know till we go up there and this is going to be a big expenditure. I could fly up there right now and see if I can dock, but that's a waste of time. So anyways, thank you for being here. We're out of time for right now. This is Star Sector, one of the best games I've played in years. You should definitely go check it out on the developer's website. You should definitely go get it on the developer's website. I feel no guilt about recommending a purchase here. There is nothing to complain about. The UI can be a little bit menu heavy from time to time, but that's about the only thing that I can really pick at. That's about it. My name is Splattercat. I'll see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh out the oven. If you enjoyed this and you want to see another one, leave a like on it, and I will see you all then, okay?